So the first question I had when I installed these Rhino Shield camera lens protectors is, will they fall off if I do a drop? Short answer is no. So if you're looking for something to cover the lens in case you think you might scratch or break them, or you know you want to make your camera lenses look a little different, then you should definitely check out the Rhino Shield 9H Tempered Glass Lens Protector. When compared to the Spigen Camera Lens Protector, you actually get some decent scratch protection if you can keep them on your iPhone. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to talk about the design of the product, the protection that it might offer your camera lens, and then do a quick photo comparison uh, with photos between you know taken with the protectors on and without. And mobile reviews, Monty and I base our reviews on actual usage. Now, I'm not sure how else to say this. We get stuff, we use stuff, we rank stuff, then we make video stuff. Installation of these lens protectors is simple. You clean your lens, peel the back off the protector, and stick it on. Now, the adhesive isn't as strong as I would like it to be because these lenses will keep falling off depending on how you store your iPhone in your person. I think Val lost most of hers on her iPhone. I still have mine, though there is a possibility that you will lose them, which is kind of annoying given that each lens is, well, five bucks. There are two parts of this product. You have the glass, which sits in an anodized aluminum ring. Now the size of the actual glass isn't the same size as the aluminum ring. The glass is centered on the cutout in the ring with a green adhesive and it's actually pretty hard to separate the two. How easy is it to dent the uh, aluminum? Well, When it comes to protection, the marketing fluff that it has 9H hardness, anti-scratch, and it does keep out dust and water. Saying that you're gonna protect something that is already sealed and waterproof is basically just... It's like, it's basically the same thing as a company saying that they're gonna make rain boots waterproof. Now when it comes to scratch protection, well, like every other company out there, it says that it's of 9H hardness on the graphite scale. Though I will say that with these screen protectors, I managed to get up to my eight pick before breaking it completely, whereas in most other protectors, break at six or seven. Six or seven is basically the standard for most tempered glass. Now having higher scratch resistance may seem like a nugget of good news, but honestly, I still managed to scratch my camera lens protectors through everyday usage and drops. And if you're running, the aluminum ring scratch around two or three. Now, if you're considering about getting a set of these, I actually do have a code for Rhino Chill, which you could get you guys a small discount, which is kind of sweet. So make sure you use that link. This channel is unsponsored by them. I'm not doing this because I like them. I'm doing this because, well, you guys have been asking about camera lens protectors and I'm a reviewer. So these things will come off if you're not um, careful with them. Val, how many of these sets have you gone through? Just one, and not that I wasn't careful. <laughs> um, yeah, just one set, but I think uh, taking it in and out of my pockets, that's when they all fell out. I didn't really notice uh, until they were all gone. <laughs> so these things are about $5 a pop, and so if you're not careful with them, you're gonna lose tiny little $5 screen protectors all over the place. Where, where did you find it last? Where was the last one that you found? Um, on the stairs, like going into my house. <laughs> I found one and then all the other ones might be stuck in a pocket somewhere, I don't know. The last thing I'll mention before moving on to the photo comparison is that the lenses are coated with an oil UV coating that will minimize fingerprinting face grease so it'll kind of keep your photos crisp. Now when it comes to photo quality, there is a noticeable difference between the photos taken with a bare camera and covered camera. Will the difference have an impact on most people? Probably not because you're just staring at one thing instead of me, we're staring at two. Again, there's a layer of adhesive between the lens and the protector and so that layer of adhesive will add a small amount of visual anomalies, we'll say, to your photos when shooting directly into the light. For example, there is a small amount of lens flare on this photo with the lens protector on it. Shooting directly into the sun also results in a tiny increase in lens flaring between these two photos. Now if we don't point our cameras at the sun, those photos, well, there's no difference between them, really. Now throughout this entire review, you may have noticed that one of my screen protectors was cracked and I did that after doing the scratch test. And if you're wondering what a terrible looking cracked lens protector does to your video, well, here is a shot of Monty here with the wide angle lens with it being all cracked up and shattered. It's kind of a neat effect, isn't it? Mm, looks like a Snapchat filter of some sort. Bling, 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 bling. So between the Spigen Glaster that I last reviewed and this product, I think I like this one better because it just looks, you can make your iPhone look a little different. Like I've got a Mod NX on this uh, iPhone 11, the red, the purple, the yellow buttons, like this looks pretty snazzy. 
think I'm gonna have to make a video about this, but this product I think works a little better if you can get over the fact that you may lose them every once in a while. First time watching my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. Doing tech reviews a lot lately. I have bounced between saying I'm gonna keep doing them, and then in my mind I'm like, I'm probably gonna stop pretty soon, so. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep doing daily reviews, but it's probably gonna slow down fairly quickly in the next month because, well, it's summer and I have to go on a staycation. Click subscribe, notification bell. Thanks for watching. Then you should definitely check out the Rhino Shield 9H tempered glass camera protector. Then you should definitely check out the Rhino Shield 9H tempered glass lens protector. Then you should definitely check out the Rhino Shield 9H le <laughs> Then you should definitely check out the Rhino Shield 9 If you know where the Apple pencil is, Please let me know because I can't find it.